So today we're going to be talking about something kind of controversial, the most overrated Marriott Vacation Club resorts. We're going to also go over some of the most underrated ones as well. Let's talk about them right after this. Hey, I'm Jeremy and welcome to Destination Timeshare. Today we're going to be talking about something that might actually upset a few people and that is the most overrated Marriott Vacation Club resorts. We're also gonna go over the most underrated ones here as well. So let's jump into this, but before we do, I do wanna let you know, this is just our opinion of these resorts. Don't get too upset. Everybody likes different things, and you might love one of the resorts that's on our overrated list, or not even like some of the resorts on our underrated list. So just kind of for fun, don't get too upset. I don't want any mean comments down below. So let's get into this. We're gonna start out here with the most underrated resorts within the Marriott Vacation Club system. And the first one just happens to be Monarch at Sea Pines. Hilton Head Island, South Carolina. It has that low country South Carolina charm. It's really kind of one of the resorts you don't hear about in Hilton Head Island. You hear about Grand Ocean, you hear about Barony Beach Club, you hear about Surfwatch, how great they are. They're right on the beach. But one of the ones you don't hear about is Monarch. Now, unfortunately, the villas are a little bit small for being a two bedroom villa, but it is the resort that kind of started it all in the Marriott Vacation Club program when Marriott International purchased American resorts way back in the 1980s. So we love this resort. It is right on the Atlantic Ocean. Fantastic beach, short walk, kind of a nice smallish pool, but some nice courtyard areas there to walk around through as well. Now let's talk about our second underrated resort and that just happens to be Marriott's Imperial Palm Villas in Orlando, Florida. Now you might be thinking, hey, this is one of the old resorts in Orlando, and you would in fact be right, but it is made up of all three bedroom, two bath villas. And the fact is, these villas actually cost fewer Marriott Vacation Club abound points than most other two bedroom villas do in the Orlando area. So if you're looking at Grand Vista, maybe Harbor Lake, even Cypress Harbor or Lakeshore Reserve. Well, you can actually usually book a three bedroom here at Imperial Palm Villas for less than those two bedrooms at those other mega resorts in Orlando. You do share the facilities with Royal Palms and Sable Palms. And as well, you have access to the pools, the slide tower and other amenities over at the Orlando World Center Marriott Hotel. Now on to our third underrated resort. That just happens to be Marriott's Canyon Villas in North Phoenix, Arizona. It's actually in the Desert Ridge area, kind of on the north side of Phoenix. And it really is a resort you don't hear a whole lot about. It's in fact not even completely built out and I'm not sure that they'll even completely finish all of the buildings there. It does kind of have the one main pool area, lots of seating, actually two pools in that area. One's actually a lap pool. And then you have the larger main kind of feature pool and then it also has kind of the lizard lounge pool. Now we're not too big on that because it's really more of a kid's splash pad. It's only a foot deep pretty much throughout. But then they also have the spa pool or what some people call the spool. It's really a great big, huge spa. Really would be great to kind of go there, sit in that, relax. Probably more in the winter months when we haven't been there than well, in the summer months when it's extreme heat, 110, 120 when we have been there. This resort also has some fantastic courtyard areas, seating areas, and plenty of amenities throughout. Now I will have a fourth one here that I'm gonna talk about towards the end of the video because it's technically not a Marriott Vacation Club resort. It's actually one we can now actually book using club points through a bound in the Vistana network. So stick around to the end of the video for that one. But now we're gonna talk about the most overrated Marriott Vacation Club resorts. Again, please don't get too upset. Now the first one here just happens to be Marriott's Crystal Shores on Marco Island, Florida. This is it's a great resort. It just has so much hype, very highly rated, but for us, it's kind of hard to get to. And even if you're flying in, it's not really close to any significant or major airports. You do have Fort Myers there that I guess you can fly into, probably the closest somewhat major airport but if you're flying into Miami, you're flying into Orlando, you got quite a drive to Marco Island and it's way down towards the south end of the island. So you got a lot of driving, in fact, once you've got onto Marco Island. 
The resort is kind of also a maze. You have a number of elevators. You have the old tower, the Osprey Tower. Then you have the Egret Tower, the new one. And it takes several different elevators if you're going to the Osprey Tower to actually get to your room. And if you're in the Egret Tower, well, you want to go to the lower pool or the beach, you have to go through several elevators as well. So it is a little bit of a nuisance kind of navigating around this resort. The beach is fantastic and it actually has three pools, but I just think as much hype as this resort gets, as many points as it costs for kind of the prime season or even some of the shoulder seasons as well, well, it is just a little bit overrated in my opinion. Now on to number two, that just happens to be Surf Watch on Hilton Head Island, South Carolina. Kind of the third of the three big resorts that Marriott Vacation Club did build on the island. And for us, it just kind of lacked something. We visited this resort a couple of times and it really kind of just looks like it was built on, well, swampland. And it actually is set back quite a ways from the beach, from the ocean. In fact, they have a big long boardwalk that you can kind of walk out or it's actually so long that they have a shuttle, kind of a golf cart shuttle, that if you wish, you can take the shuttle out there. The Garden View Villas are way back and kind of surround this lake. Really nothing magical or special about it. There are a few activities around the resort, but the views from most of the villas, unless you're really kind of in what they call the Ocean Vista building, and those views, well, the views are kind of just not all that great. In fact, we were in the main clubhouse building one time. We had a view straight out to, guess what? Trees. Now, obviously, if you have an Ocean Vista view, you got the nice marsh there, which that marsh is kind of one thing you have to walk so far to get across. But that's just kind of a disappointment there on Hilton Head Island that you're sent back so far from the beach. You might almost not even consider it a beach resort. And now on to number three, and this one just happens to be one that we actually own in Orlando, Florida, and that is Marriott's Harbor Lake. For us, the biggest drawback just happens to be the pools. There's two fairly small pools one of them has a water slide that dumps into one end, so you've got a big chunk chopped off there. You also have the other pool that has the pirate ship and then a deep end on the other end, so everybody's kind of congregating in the middle of these pools. There's lots of kind of deck space around the pools, but actual swimming in the pools, they're pretty small. The other thing about Harbor Lake is it does have some of the smallest villas of all the Marriott Vacation Club resorts in Orlando. They originally built it at what they called a Horizons property. It was kind of targeted to a younger demographic that wasn't spending as much, so they built it a little bit smaller. Didn't initially have some of the nicer finishes, but they have upgraded those over the years. So that's why those villas are a little bit smaller. They built them smaller to kind of try and save money up front so they could sell them at a cheaper price. All right, now on to number four. This one's probably going to upset a number of people. And unfortunately, I just have to say it, and that happens to be Marriott's Maui Ocean Club on the island of Maui, Hawaii. This resort, I mean, it's big, it's grand, it's what many people would consider fabulous, but there is an old section where you essentially have what was converted hotel rooms converted into timeshares. So unfortunately, you don't have a full kitchen in those older villas. And in fact, you don't even have in-room laundry. You only have kind of a mini fridge, sink, no burner cooktop, but you do have a microwave oven. So that is a bit of a drawback. You can't go there and kind of cook in your villa like you normally would. Now they do kind of have a community kitchen as well, but from what I understand, there's no oven there either. It's just kind of, you have your cooktop so you can use frying pans to cook something up. And of course you do have the grills around the resort. Now you also do have the Lahaina and Napili towers. Those are kind of more traditional timeshare where you have in-room kitchen, in-room laundry, they're fantastic, but we're not really big on kind of those old towers where it seems older hotel conversion. The property's nice enough. You do have, of course it is Maui, beautiful landscaping, nice pools, but really is it just not another resort plunked down on the island of Hawaii? So just for us, it isn't all that special. I'm sorry. Earlier in the video, kind of one of the other Underrated Resorts, it's actually not a Marriott Vacation Club property. It does come to us with a bound from the Vastana Signature Network, and that is Vastana Beach Club in Jensen Beach, Florida. 
It's a small resort. It's nothing fancy. It doesn't have a fancy pool, but what it has is the old Florida charm. Right on the beach, you have fantastic villas with pretty nice big balconies on them as well. So you have to be in that oceanfront tower. You have great views there out to the Atlantic Ocean. Nice beach, beach rental chairs right there available to you. Don't expect to use the pool a whole lot because unfortunately, like I said, it is kind of small. And as for parking, well, they do have quite a bit of parking under the building and around the property as well. So it is a small resort, but like I said, it kind of has that old Florida charm. You have a number of small beach towns. You have a number of beach accesses up and down the main road there. So if you want to check out a beach other than the one right outside the resort, just go out and drive a little ways and you'll find public beach access there too. So what do you think of my list here? The top overrated and underrated Marriott Vacation Club resorts in Orlando. Love to hear your thoughts down in the comments below. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Remember it was just for fun. And if you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. It really does help out these videos. And I did do another video comparing all of the Marriott Vacation Club resorts in Orlando from the activities, the rooms, the pools, all that and more. I will put a link to it right up here. So check that out next. Thanks for watching. And until next time, remember, the best destination is always a timeshare.